Hi guys, it's Becky and I know I'm a few days late, but I am finally opening up my Beads to Live By curated collection that um, is one of my favorite subscriptions. And if you didn't know, uh, Beads to Live By, it's a small business, it's a bead store up in Michigan, and um, they do a curated collection every month where you can subscribe and there are two different subscriptions. One is for seed beads and one is for two whole beads and I subscribe to both of them. They often will have additional add-on bundles that are check glass bundles that are set to coordinate with the curated collection. Um, I did not get those this month so I just have the beads that come in the subscription to show you. And something that they just started doing this year is instead of eight packets of, of uh, 11 O's seed beads, they're doing um, two colors each of 15 O's, 11 O's, 8 O's, and 6 O seed beads. So you get a variety of sizes, which is exciting because it just opens up so many more things that we can do with our beads. And so I'm gonna be showing you um, each of these beads. And we'll be looking at the different colors that we've got. And then in the two hole beads, we started getting some different shapes than we've gotten in the previous years. There's still some other shapes that we have gotten, um, but it is a pretty, pretty great selection. Um, I am in love with these pyramid beads. I'm gonna show them to you in just a second. I was just getting excited for a minute there. So like the two new shapes that we got are ginkgos and rula beads. And Rula beads are a bead that I haven't been familiar with before, before we got them in last month's subscription. And something that we just got in this subscription for this month was a little pattern. It's a printed out pattern of something that you can make with the Rula beads. And I can make this with everything that came in the subscription. So thank you, Cassandra, for sending us a pattern and an idea of something that we can make with our subscription. I am definitely gonna make that actually, because um, it looks really cool and it looks like it'd be fun to make. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the beads. I'm just going to uh, put them into this. It's a ceramic palette. Um, it's a Meaden palette. I really like Meaden ceramic palettes. They're my favorite. Um, but this one is one that I haven't filled yet with paint. So I'm just gonna stick them in these little containers um, so that we can get an idea of all of them all together. And I'll be holding them closer in my little ladybug dish because my ladybug dish is a nice neutral like ceramic white so that you can get a better idea without all of this other stuff of the actual color of the beads when we get up there. So let's start with our two whole beads. <laughs> Specifically, these pyramid beads. Now pyramid or stud beads are two whole beads. They are square shaped with a pointy end on one end and the holes go parallel to two of the sides. And these ones have this really cool finish on the outside of it. Um, in fact, I just opened up my Soft Flex um, kit for next month. And there is a bead in there that has almost the same finish on here. And I think that these would be just a really excellent thing to combine with them. Um, just saying that that's, that's a little idea that I'm having already for that. So I'm just going to put these... Uh, few of those guys in here so we can take a look at them all together at the end of this and I'll put the rest of them back in their baggie but yeah I love the curated collections because like I will often just get overwhelmed with choices um, when I am bead shopping and when that happens like I just I don't know what to get, what will go with each other. And Cassandra puts these together with colors that will complement and contrast. And so when I get these, I know all of these will go together. This is a delicious, delicious bubblegum pink, these Rilla beads. The, that pattern that they sent, it's gonna look gorgeous with these um, <laughs> as part of this. I'm, I am already, already excited about that. So let's stick a couple of these guys in here next to those. But yeah, roller beads are their little cylinders with just two holes in the sides. 
like it would be the size of a soda can if we were looking at them like that. Then we've got our ginkgos. And ginkgos are this fun shape. These ones are this shiny metallic purple color. And for ginkgos, the holes run through the sides like this on either side. So it goes through the, the rounded side and comes out the concave side or the opposite way into the concave side and out the rounded side. But uh, they are a fun shape of bead to be able to play around with. And then we've got some tilas and it looks like these are some blue tilas. that are a, just a regular old blue. Like a cobalty blue. Let's get these guys in there. Alright, this is 12 spots. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and set these daggers off to the side. Daggers are another color that we get with this, and these daggers look like they've got two different tones involved in them. They've got this periwinkle blue, and then there's this light, like corally pink as well. So I'm just going to set these actually over to the side because they're a little bit big for these little spaces. And also there's only 12 of these spaces and I'm going to need enough for 13 items because there are five different selections in the two in the tool bead and then there are eight selections in the um and uh the the other the seed bead subscription. All right, so we've got some 60 beads and these are these like pearlescent white beads. They have a very like luminous coating that has some colors to it. It looks like it's a little bit of a like maybe a rainbow iris finish. But it's really really light, like pastel on there. And then We've got some more 60 seed beads. And these ones have a matte finish, but another like sort of rainbowy coating. So you've got hints of pink as well as this blue. And like so far, look at all of these together. They look great together just with those. <laughs> You've got the whites, you've got the blues, you've got the pinks. And now we've got our Edo seed beads. This is a silver lined, like almost a lilac color, but it's like a very light lilac. It's like a smoky, almost gray purple. It's a really, really pastel color with it. And like, and that's the thing about the curated collection is you don't get beads that are all exactly the same color, but they go with each other. Like this color of purple goes perfectly next to these daggers. Um, it also will really complement this bright blue and probably look really great next to this metallic silver or this metallic pink as well and I mean the white is just going to go with everything it's a nice neutral all right and then for our second eight o's that was eight o's by the way we have some matte dark blue beads these are kind of a navy color it's like navy blue matte finish they are unlined so you can get some translucence through them just a little bit though. And these guys are hopping around into other sections all over the place. And that's okay, I can clean them up for the photo or for the last look. Um, it's not gonna be hard to do. Here you go, buddy. Go back in your section.
And then for 11 O's, these are lined. It looks like they are a pink glass with a blue lining on the inside of it, which is amazing. What an what a great color for this. They are going to go so well with so many of these pinks and blues together. That is such a great 11 oh I love this color. And the thing is, these beads are all available to, for individual purchase, purchase as well over at Beads to Live By. So you can get more of these if you'd like. And then we've got some... opaque with this dark kind of burgundy color with a luster finish. Whoop. You are going everywhere too, buddies. They just want to go everywhere. So we've got some more of this dark pinks, almost purple color. Actually, I'd say that's more maroon than burgundy. It's more on the purple side of things. I mean, and you can see how well they go together with these other ones when they hop into the little sections with them. <laughs> I guess that's... That's the good thing about them getting mixed up. All right, and then the two 15 -0 colors. 15 are great. You've got this kind of pearly peach luster finish 15 -0. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous peach color. That is light and dreamy. It, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like sherbet. You know, this whole palette. I'm thinking of sherbet right now. Ice cream. There we go. So we've got these guys in here. And that brings a little bit of a warm tone too to the rest of this extremely cool toned palette to have that peach tone in there. All right, and then we've got Magenta AB. Oh, it actually says it on the thing for this one. These are 15-0. These, they are magenta lined, so they are clear with that magenta lining with an AB finish. I'm just gonna scooch a little bit closer so you guys can get a better look at these beads right there because they are beautiful, beautiful beads. Let's put these guys right in there, carefully. All right, and so there we have the February Beads to Live By curated collection right there. And they are going to be a lot of fun to make with. Um, I've been doing my full set February, so I am probably not going to make with them until either next week or the week after. Just because I, I have so many other things that I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I wanted to get this open so you could see what I've got and what I'm working with. And again, I already did a full set with some beads to live by beads. And I did that at the beginning of the month. But these are beautiful and they're going to be so much fun to play with. And thank you, Cassandra, for sending us a pattern. Talk to you later. Bye.